Hello folks, welcome back. It's actually kind of good to be back. Being back into a groove of things. For I am the one and the only. I am Hobo Tom. And if tomorrow I'm acting a little bit different and odd, it's because, well, for the most part, kind of this happened. So let's see here. Mobile banking from Truist. No, not mobile banking. See, this is what happened. This is what's going to happen though tomorrow about 4 o'clock. Boom! Baby! Boom! Baby! Yeah, there we go. That's mainly because during AEW it was so stimulating. Actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't say that because AEW was really good tonight. I wrote my letter though. So I dropped it off the desk. Let said boss do over it for a day because I have off Friday. Well, somewhat off Friday. I have to go to my other job Friday. And then I guess I get to hear all about it Saturday. And the rest of the weeks, because as I found out today, through various <laughs> inferences, that they fired the one manager. That's not good. The big boss is on a headhunting trip, and well, yeah. When you ask for whom the bell tolls, normally the bell tolls for thee. But let's get into some more fun stuff. Let's talk about some AEW wrestling. And, oh my goodness! It's a cult of personality, like Mussolini and Gandhi. The mirror speaks, the reflection lies. I forget the rest of it. I know part of it. Yeah, I didn't want to bring that up. I figured, I'm trying to be good for my last. Two, oh wow, two weeks. That's right. I have about. A little bit more than two weeks. I have 15 days left on my copyright strike. I don't want to get zonked anymore. Every couple of years it's okay. Especially if it's AAA Triple Mania. That, that's worth copyright death. But yeah, um, we had CM Punk taking on Dax Harwood. This was kind of a weird match. Uh, classic tie-up gets shoved into the corner. Of course, CM Punk being the face makes a clean break. Uh, good stuff from both. Dax in the heel once he gets Punk in the corner. Just takes his shots at him. He doesn't care. Uh, Dax he grabs the nose. Keeps the body away from the ref. So the ref really can't, say, break the hold. Can't get DQ'd like that. Again, great ring presence. Dax Harwood, great wrestler. Why they don't do things with, the, with FTR more often? Who knows? Um. And then, like, the gun club, the ass boys. Because um, cause they're ass boys. Yeah, they distract everyone. Even CM Punk's kind of confused. Dax, he cannot hit the diving headbutt. They got some yay boos. Cherry says, you know, any of these guys could draw back in the territory days. JR, I think, is getting a little annoyed with all the antics of AEW. And he wishes, you know, part of me wishes I was back in Smoky Mountain. Part of me says, at least I know the evils that Vince did. So, yeah. Uh, Punk. Took too much time on the top. He gets stuffed there by Dax. It's, it's kind of crotched. Uh, the big... That was a big, tall, high suplex. That was pretty cool to see. Uh, Dax now hits the diving headbutt. And then they broke over the top. And it was like, Whoa. CM Punk's neck got twisted. Way's neck should not be twisted. Uh, Punk got back in the ring. They had a flying cross body. And the Anaconda device first time. Dax gets out of it though. It's a springboard powerbomb. New, new GTS though. Dax Hardwood puts in the figure four. The Oh, the figure nine. The scorpion deathlock or the sharpshooter. Whatever you want to call it as. Uh, eventually, 
And that gets reversed. Deck te decks. Harwood taps out to the Anaconda Vice. And then Punk crosses weight, starts doing this movement. Does this Punk with a belt? We'll see in the future. But you know what? This was a really great match to start off. Surf and turf quality match. Then we get into the schmaz of stuff. We have an eight man Texas tornado match, which means there's eight men. They do whatever they feel like. It's just a crazy brawl. It's Sting, Darby Allen, Matt, and Jeff Hardy taking on Private Party and the Butcher and the Blade. The Butcher and Blade still to me look like, look, they have the look of an amazing tag team. The one big mean guy you do not want to see in the dark alley. And the little, like, crazy psycho guy. So the Butcher's the guy you don't want to see in the dark alley. The Blaze is, like, psycho person. Uh, Darby dives to begin with. Sting jumps off the top rope. Oh, please, Sting. I don't know how much the abuse those hips can take. But he's not doing them as frequently. Or at least he's not getting buckle-bombed either. Seth. Um, it's just, just a brawl. Ka chaos! And Sue's, yes, Bathman. Yes, Bathman. It's chaos. I hear the clutch chaos from Bane. I haven't done the Bane voice in a while. That's fun to do. And there was a spinger, a stinger splash on the barricade. Uh, Darby gets thrown down concrete steps. Whoa. That's not like rolling down like a hard wooden ramp. That's concrete. Concrete does not give. When concrete meets bone, bone loses. Sometimes when wood when wood meets bone, sometimes wood loses. But concrete, no. Concrete is one of those few. It's not necessarily undefeated, but it's pretty darn close. Has the majority of wins, let's say that. There's only two undefeated. It's Mother Nature and Father Time. Never beat those two. Everything else, eh. Concrete you can defeat. But most of the time, Concrete wins, though. Especially, I feel like, skulls and vertebrae and, 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 and forearms and collarbones and ankles. Yeah. Actually, Darby Allen looked like he was limping a little bit, too, like, legitimately. Uh, Matt, he gets trash canned by Private Party. And then in the concourse, Jeff Hardy climbs a ladder, not content... With doing a swanton onto the butcher and blade onto two, who are laying on two tables with boxes underneath them to cushion the blow. But he decided to climb like the architecture on like the, the buttress part. And it's like, whoa. That was pretty freaky. He does a swanton palm as he does the swanton palm. <laughs> Instead of having a big airbag crash pad, they just had empty t shirt boxes. Underneath the two tables. Uh, you know, I'll give him this much. At least you would expect to find empty t-shirt boxes at the merchandise place. So it's kind of plausible. Yeah. Let's see. Then there's... Then they, then they all go back. Uh, Matt's in the ring. He gets saved by Sting. Uh, Sting then does the Stinger Splash to everyone. Then it's a uh, stereo scorpion death draw or, or reverse the ET and twist of fate. The phases win. Sting, Darby Allen, the Hardy Boys win. Ah, that was just a cluster mess. Ham sandwich. And my one friend said it's like, why are all the wrestlers in the ring at the same time? Yeah. That's kind of like the way things work here in AEW. And FTR does an interview. And we have the Varsity Blondes versus John Moxley and Daniel Bryant. Of course, Lord Steven Regal. And he introduces, he says, Hello, J Mr. James Ross. Hello, Tony Schiavone. Hello, man with the mask. He does not like, he does not like Excalibur. It's so good. And it just starts off, and it's a brawl, because that's what John Moxley likes to do. Uh, Julia Hart, it's just, she looks, she, uh, cheerleader Julia, Julia Hart, she looks so sad and depressed, she still has that eye patch on. 
Hey, Julia, if you need a hug, I'm single still, okay? You better hurry up, though. But yeah, oh, I'll make you feel better. Yeah, especially after Lent. Some, some, some cherry vanilla whiskey. Uh, a nice, big, soft, comfy bed. You and me rolling around on that bed. Yeah, trust me. Call me. Email. Like, subscribe. Email. Leave a comment, too. But, yeah. So, she's just, like, they're all, like, depressed. So, she still has an eye patch on. I don't know. Something else might have gotten in that eye. Uh, so, we'll find out a little bit later. Uh, where was I now? But yeah, Griff, he begins to take it to John Moxley. Now, um... Uh, Brian Danielson, John Moxley begins to just double team and pound down Griff Garrison. Eventually, Pillman, he comes in. However, he eats a pile driver. And he kicks out of the pile driver. No one, and I mean no one, should ever kick out of a pile driver. Yeah. I'll pile drive you, though, okay, Julie? I'll make it good. Again, like, comment, sh share, and subscribe, Julia Hart. I'm single, too, so that's a bonus. But yeah, um, yeah, he's the pile driver, uh, the varsity blondes. Hey, you know, they're a tag team. They've been working together. They can do some double teams by the moms. Um, unfortunately, Pillman, Ben, eats the knee plus, and then uh, Griff Garrison gets in. It's just stomps. Nine to uh, uh, 12, six elbows. Um, yeah, da Daniel Bryan is holding the arms and stomps on the head. John Moxley just delivers 12, six elbows. Uh, they put in their submissions the bulldog choke on a sleeper hold. Uh, Bryan puts in, I think this time it was the heel hook. Yeah, Varsity Blondes tap out. Moxley goes on a rage. He calls him Sir William Regal. Well, he probably should. Uh, they're announced as like the, the Blackbird, I don't know, like Fight Club or what? Fight Club! But John Moxley does not know the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. The rule number two of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. So, yeah. Solid cheeseburger match, though. Then NJF comes out, cuts a promo on Wardlow. Yes, security there. Yeah, it's okay. Then we have Jay Lethal versus Adam Cole, baby. Boom. Harkening back to their days, a ring of honor flashback. This was actually a pretty fast-paced match. I mean, Jay Lethal. Da, 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 Good. Of course, he naturally goes from Elizabeth, New Jersey. <coughs> oh, that killed my throat. Oh, yeah. That sounds a little bit better. Jay Lethal's pretty good. He does my entrance pretty good. This guy, Hobo Tom, I hear, also does a pretty good macho man, so I don't know who to slap and who to shake hands with. Oh, yeah. Because you know, the cream always rises to the top. There's no time like the present. The past is done. The future has yet to be. Ooh, yeah. I'll have to listen to that later. That sounded good. My Macho Man rants are the best. Ooh, yeah. I do 360. I might do 360 again. You never can quite tell. Kind of shady people up there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that was so good. Um, Jay, Jay Lethal begins to dive all over the place. Adam Cole's knees. He starts to deliver some knees. Jay Lethal. Lethal goes for the figure four three times. The first two times he got reversed to a pin. He does get the third pin, the third time. Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly, and the infamous, infamous Bobby Fish. 
Show up ringside. Uh, Cole hits a super kick. Jay hits a... He, he reverses into a stunner. Then a lethal injection got turned into a super kick. And a Panama Sunrise. Boom. You thought it was over, baby. But it wasn't. Uh, Jay Lethal tried the Okada roll. That's when the ref got destructed by uh, Red Dragon. Um, and then it was a nut shot. And then the, the knee boom. And then Adam Cole speaks about, yeah, he wants another title shot. Who cares? This was a fun match, though. Solid cheeseburger match. Ooh. Then we had legit Layla Hirsch being on, oh, wait. And, of course, Adam Cole calls out Paige, Hangman Adam Page. Hangman Adam Page just takes off his big cowboy belt, starts whooping people. However, there's three people and only one of him. Numbers game doesn't make sense. Adam Cole, baby, steals the belt. Maybe he and Britt will do something on that belt. Can wait for it. Uh, Jurassic Express make the save. Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti, that floozy Ty Conti. I can't. I really can't believe that. I I remember when Sammy Guevara like proposed to his girlfriend in the middle of the ring, then dumped her for that Brazilian bimbo. Ty Conti has lost some respect in my eyes. To this this degree, a lot of Brazilian women have lost respect in my eyes. To some to some degree, again I fear Brazilian women. They break American men. Not good ways either. But yeah. So they cut a promo. Dan Lambert comes out. And then... <laughs> Dan kisses the belt. He's like, he's like, Hey, Dan! Yeah, you don't know what... what yeah. He <laughs> kissed that belt? Well, you just got a taste of myself and Taya. Because guess what we did on that belt? Oh! Yeah. There were some bodily fluids passed on the belt. Probably coming from both his and her nether regions. I.e. They had sex and they made a mess on the belt with the, the semen and, and, and squirt fluid. But yeah, they had sex on the belt. Yeah, they, they came on the belt. Hopefully at the same time. Although she should always come first. Yeah. They, they, they did the unspeakable things to those belts. And Dan Lambert kissed it then. I hope he sanitized it first. Uh, then we had legit Layla Hirsch taking on Red Velvet. This is a pretty decent match. Uh, Hirsch jumps Red Velvet. Uh, they, they both decided to run to the barricade. So, I am the barricade. I am the barricade. I am the table. Cuckoo, cachoo. Uh, Red Velvet hit the Huracarana jumping from the steps. That was actually pretty good. Red Velvet did not botch anything today. Bravo, Red Velvet. Yes, uh, Layla Hirsch and does this uh, couple gut wrench suplexes her, tosses her around. The wrecking ball drop kick looks good. She hits a German suplex. Red Velvet hit a corkscrew kick, I guess. I don't know what she calls it. It's a corkscrew kick. And then. Layla Hirsch takes up the true hardest part of the ring, and that is a turnbuckle bolt. Listen, a turnbuckle bolt's not padded by anything. Turnbuckle bolts are tugs and steel. So yeah, turnbuckle bolts, they are really the hardest part of the ring. Not the ring apron. It might be less cushiony padding on the ring apron part and have a steel understructure. There's still cushiony padding there. Turnbuckle bolts do not have cushiony padding. Uh, the referee takes the one, but she had a she had she had a second one in her tights. Wait, where did she hide that turnbuckle bolt? That's such a dirty thought. Where would a woman hide a turnbuckle bolt in her, her tights? That's just wrong. But yeah, nails red velvet with a turnbuckle bolt. Gets the one, two, three. Disposes of, of said thing. That, that should probably be sterilized too. But yeah. 
Layla Hirsch wins. Meh. Ham sandwich of a match. I am never a, never a big fan. Did I get that a ham sandwich? Was that a ham sandwich? No, that was a cheeseburger match. Yeah, that was a ham sandwich. I don't know. That was a ham, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Then uh, there was a Jade Cargill promo. She wants everything. I don't know. She, she wants exotic dancers there. Whoa. This is getting to some old school HLA action here. Yeah, women taking things out of their tight. Um, admitting bodily fluids onto championship belts. Wanting exotic dancers. Tranquilo. Uh, but then we had Thunder Rosa promo. Vicky Guerrero, excuse me. That was so good. Uh, Nyla Rose, and of course, jumps. Thunder Rosa. So eventually we'll see Nyla Rose taking on Thunder Rosa. That should be pretty good. And the main event, it was the, the Dark Order of John Silver and Alex Reynolds. I don't remember his name now. Taking on the Jericho Appreciation Society. Jericho Appreciation Society. Whatever that is. Of Chris Jericho and Danny Garcia. Silver's faster. Even Jericho says, yeah, Silver has a step or two on Jericho. Silver's actually just this little squirrel eating coffee grounds. No more Mountain Dew for Johnny Hungy. Uh, the Dark Order again. They've been around for a while, Silver and Reynolds. So they have great tag team continuity, great uh, double team works. Uh, Jericho. He pulled an Eddie Guerrero when he, on the outside, he banged his head on the steps, and the rest of the Dark Order were kicked out by the referee. He laid there and. And the referee heard the noise and saw Chris Jericho and the two other Dork Order members there. So yeah, he pulled the Eddie Guerrero. That was actually kind of funny. Uh, he didn't miss the line salt. Uh, Silver eventually takes out everyone. <laughs> Silver's great. He's just a ball of energy. Uh, he had a flying cross body. Um, he tried it again. That was countered into a code breaker. A Dark Order. Again, great double teams. However, Chris Jericho with the referee distracted being because the referee was being held by Daniel Garcia. Wax. Johnny Silver in the back. Uh, and then there was a combination. It was pretty cool. It was like a really low squatting figure nine or nearly a Muda lock. And Johnny Young had to tap out. So this is actually a decent match. Cheeseburger match. That was it for AEW. Um, again, you're going to hear the boom if you're in any part of Daytona Beach. If you hear loud explosions, especially Friday. <laughs> yeah, but who knows? Maybe one of the assistant bosses will see it saying, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Cross this off my list. I'm actually all cut up for a change. Remember, I have one more show. I'll do that Thursday-ish. Probably be up Friday. Friday, I will just be doing the AEW Rampage show. Then I have to go to work Saturday. Next week, be doing one, two, three. Yeah, three shows next week. And somewhere I'll toss in WrestleMania predictions. 